selecting a simple button symbol. Uh, we're going to use a thin black stroke. Let's choose the rectangle tool. We're going to use a hairline stroke. For our fill, let's create a linear gradient. So we'll change our color type to linear. And we'll fade this color. Let's use a medium blue color. Then we'll right click on this handle on the right. We'll select that same medium blue color. Oops, I missed it. There we go. Except, once we have that color selected, over here on the right, we'll drag this slider up to make it lighter. So we're just fading from blue to a lighter blue. Alright, let's create that button. There we go. And now let's rotate the uh, gradient here. So with the uh, gradient selection tool, gradient transform tool selected, we'll click on the shape, bring in that gradient and rotate it. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right, now let's make it a little more interesting by adding a reflection to it. So let's first double click on this. We'll call this layer button. Now let's go ahead and convert this to a symbol. We'll select that button instance and we'll hit F8 to convert it to a symbol. We're going to convert it to a button symbol and we'll just call this button. Simple enough and hit enter. And the reason I didn't give uh, this a specific name like home button or about button the reason for that will become apparent in just a few minutes so let's go inside this button symbol we'll double click on it and we'll make the button a little more interesting by adding a reflection over it so let's create a new layer here this bottom layer will be called BG for background second layer we'll call reflection okay the reflection we're gonna create another rectangle this time with no stroke so we'll turn that stroke off we're going to change the gradient. This is going to fade from white to